Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. Episode number 30 coming at you. I'm Imperial Jedi. How is the day treating you so far? Guys, today is our 30th episode. That's pretty wild. And I thought we could try something a little bit different, a little bit more ambitious than uh, than usual. And uh, yeah, just kind of work on what I want to call Project X. We'll get it started. We'll hopefully get enough of it done that you'll either know what it is by the end of the episode, or um, yeah, enough of it's done that you'll kind of, you'll have at least a really good idea, you know? And uh, I'm going to kind of build it piecemeal. So we'll do something kind of a little bit different. We still have the uh, the grand scheme to work on, which has been, oh my goodness, talked about in circles, but small town, island, university, more industry, oil field, maybe a rail yard too. And then uh, <clears throat> Mysterious Project X, wherever that will be uh, starting to take shape. Where will it be here? No, it probably won't be actually. We're starting today, so it has to be somewhere we've unlocked. My goodness, so much to talk about. But yeah, so uh, what I want to do right now is get ourselves started with the the new highway coming in following the coast here and that'll be helping out our small town when we do end up adding mods and assets it's actually a very common question still so up until this moment there is no custom content this is just the dlcs plus the base game um there might be mods that i've downloaded that have like settings that are always permanently on but otherwise i'm not trying to make the game look any different than just like out of the box you know especially from a building perspective but we will eventually be doing a very casual mod list and making this like an approachable kind of thing. So if you're new to mods and assets, it'll be really easy to kind of follow along. And so one of the ones we will be using is 81 tiles, which allows you to buy the entire map. And uh, we'll be doing so many more highway things. So we'll kind of pretend like that's going to be on the, the near horizon. So we'll set up this highway to kind of just act as if it's going to connect already. But yeah, what I do want, though, is just a really simple highway. Kind of following a bit of the contour of the land, coming on through here, and then sneaking on into uh, the small town. And so we'll kind of just stop that right there. We do want to create a little interchange right through here and uh, bring up some traffic to the next little point. So we'll kind of connect these together. And uh, you can kind of see we are running into a little bit of issue with some uh, utilities, so water and whatnot. So I'm just going to pause while we, uh, while we do that. We'll address that in just a bit. And I do want to disrupt some roads here, so why don't we do that while we're paused. Bring that away. Okay, so yeah, we'll build this in little bits. I'm gonna do just uh, maybe five or ten minutes of this, and then we'll start on Project X. And I'll keep it literally as a fun, a fun little mystery until uh, till the end here. All right. So what we want is a nice little slip lane road, road, slip lane rail coming in, and we get the slip in the sense that like the train can come through and go straight, or it can turn right. You can kind of see here, get some fun, fun switches. We've got that for cargo. And let's say if you are a train and you do want to make your way to like, you know, the right hand track, we'll give you a, a bypass as well. And so this might be something as crazy as, oh geez. Okay, why don't we come across like this? And I'm just gonna double check that this is not too steep. Yeah, you know, a train, it's getting a little bizarro here. A little bizarro, so why don't we put this a bit further down? In retrospect, and I won't do it now, so help me, don't worry. Some of you are probably like, oh god, please no, no, I won't. Um, in retrospect, maybe this could have been built on a, a more level playing field to start, but I, I think we're okay. Some of you were right to be like, oh my god. That's better. And then the idea is just to manage like lots of uh, cargo and passenger, because you know how uh, finicky this the other uh, region can be. Okay, so the train is going to be making a ring road loop with the uh, with the highway. So we're going to want that to kind of sneak on kind of through like this. And, you know, in my mind, I kind of imagine from a historic perspective, like this would have been a rail and a stagecoach route or something like that, you know? So it kind of makes sense that they're close together just for the sake of like access and maintenance and whatnot. And what we may have done, or what they would have done back in the day when building this, is um, just a little bit of terraforming. You know, make it a really simple bridge here. This could have been a tunnel as well, but let's keep it all uh, visual. Okay, so just a little bit of that. And actually, no, this is not going to look nice. We have to back it up a bit further. Nice, smooth trench. Same with over here. So right click, left click, and then drag. And then the idea is just to get like a ground level um, uh, bridge here, but it should look pretty cool, and with clearance, of course, for the uh, for the trains. Okay, 
so that's actually not too bad. You can just like let it automatically uh, sort itself out like that. See how it just did a little adjustment here and here? That's not too bad. And let's do that just for the sake of some safety. <clears throat> okay, well that's fairly simple, but uh, exactly what I'm after, so mission accomplished. And then, why don't we do a little bit closer with this. And then hopefully, no, we can, yeah, I mean, it's not, yeah, no, okay. What is that noise even? Okay, try that again. That wasn't quite what I was going for, I, I guess. Yeah, that's better. Maybe not the cleanest, but much, much better than what we had before. And then again, this will just kind of like make its way into the, uh, the small town here. And it is my plan. It's probably gonna take an episode or two. We'll see how much we can get done today. Really, the Project X I wanna I wanna work on. But I do want to actually make a functional rail yard, and uh, we'll do that in a really fun way by using some one-way rails, and we'll kind of force the trains to kind of make like a really cool, cool trip through a neighborhood. And when I say neighborhood, I mean like industrial zone, an industrial neighborhood. Okay. Look at that clearance, say eh, between the uh, power line right there. That is just oof, one millimeter away. Okay, so this little bit here between the two tracks should be long enough to let a train kind of hang out in case there's a break in uh, traffic and they gotta wait a little bit. And then the idea is just like the trains bypass through. And if the bypass doesn't work, then what's the point of it? So we'll make sure that's functional. And then we just need the way in from this side. Okay, that could be a little bit cleaner. Some of these bigger ones, I don't mind doing them a few times. Others, I definitely am with you. Stop redoing stuff, you know what I mean? I do get a little carried away sometimes. Okay, that's a lot better. All right, so let's do the bridge now, up and over the top, and then we'll, um, actually, no, hold on, wait a minute. Let's, uh, let's start part one. I said I'd build this together in piecemeal. Let's uh, let's start this out here. So we do have unlimited terrain. Uh, we know this already, but just um, in case you are not playing with unlimited terrain, a fun little shout. You can always hide some soil underneath. See, I'm just raising the water level just ever so slightly. We're still underwater though. We're raising the soil level below and we can hide soil if we need to. We can also scoop it back up and grab it for later. So just consider that if you ever you need um, soil. Okay. Man, oh man, what are we doing here? All right, so let's grab that about there. And, yep. And perfect. Okay, so we'll clean this up a little bit. And I do think that over time, the sand should go away. I'm a little unsure though. So we'll kind of see how that uh, unfolds. Okay, this might be a little bit big, so let's cut that back. And we'll look at the harbor from the overhead here. Is it too... No, that's not too bad at all. Perfect. Okay. What could it be, I wonder? Well, who knows? So we'll just uh, put on three speed. Let the water level catch up with itself here while you guys ponder. Yeah, there we go. If you don't let this happen when you're trying to like lay roads and stuff, uh, the ground will like not cooperate and the game might think you're still underwater. And this is essentially just displacement what's happening. So it's very safe to uh, to save ahead of time. I was pretty confident just because of how tall the uh, the cliffside was here. But you could very easily create a tsunami and ruin your whole city. So just like, don't say I didn't warn you. And if you don't, yeah, again, if you don't end up doing this, it'll be hard to build. So let that kind of settle. We'll put it back on pause and uh, get back to some construction. And then we'll come back over here in a minute or two. Okay, just leave that be. All right, we'll keep it on pause because we are disrupting some major roads and uh, and whatnot here. The only restaurant with a service, a dinosaur. All right, switch this over. Oh, surviving Mars, love that game. Okay, so just bring that over. Connect this up. And I just need this side to be slightly elevated so we can just come in a bit longer with a bridge here. 
And that'll make sense in a, in a second here. Okay, cool. Um, going to help the curve of the power lines here. Or not. Um, I don't know what I like now more or boy. Yeah, do this and then do that. We just need a little bit of room to get the uh, the road through. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so we are going to be doing another uh, crossing over here. So let's trench this. You can kind of see how this would take like two episodes. I was really ambitiously thinking we'd get all this done this episode, but no, no, no. Too much to do. Too much to do. And so I think what we'll probably do, just so we're not rushing it, is we'll probably build the rail yard um, in the next episode. And that'll be kind of a cool segue into cargo, almost. And I guarantee it's going to be something you're going to want to try in your own city. So definitely, like, tune in for that one. And it's something, like, I may have done it, you guys have seen it in the past, um, in a series you've watched before. But the principal idea is we're just going to be throwing down one or two cargo stations. And if we have a one-way entrance and a one-way exit, the trains have zero choice but to follow the route we give them. And we can take them on like a nice long complicated additional route and that means you can route them through what looks like a series of static uh rail yards and that should be pretty darn cool especially for vanilla and our uh, our console friends and speaking of console i don't really have a date in mind and um i know it's gonna be really it's gonna be a struggle so we'll kind of see how it like really unfolds but um i was actually looking into getting just um the xbox game pass stuff set up for pc and you can actually get some of the um, Xbox titles, but just install them and run them kind of like, almost like a, a fake emulator. So I think if I play my cards right, I can actually get just like vanilla Skylines on, um, on, on Xbox. The only thing is I won't have any DLC though. So I'm still trying to think if like that's worth it. I might see if I can get a free DLC or whatever. But you know, that might, uh, that might finally start to happen. A little uh, console playthrough. And this many hours in, this long into the game's release, I still somehow have not actually played a console version of Skylines. Blows my mind. How's that the case? Okay, it's too soon to make jokes, but can you imagine I did not change this direction, just left it like that, just like the other one? Oh my goodness, how do people unsubscribe and left, right, and center? You can see why we wanted this to be a bridge though, right? Now we can get a little bit more action through here. I think because we're like really close to the highway, and this is getting like pretty busy utilities and whatnot, um, we want this one to be a proper interchange, whereas this guy here can be a nice level one. That's okay. That's looking great. And we just need the other side of this now. Okay. And then he's coming off the, the bridge here on the angle. Maybe a good spot for it. Yep. Start bringing that down. I'm gonna go a little bit further up, just in case any of the uh, the wacky sims here think this is a shorter route and start making some bizarre detours. So that's good. That's why that's a little bit longer. All right, how do we look right now? Oh, it's fantastic. And what's cool is it has the same kind of vibe as this one here. So the two from outer space, from up here, look pretty uh, pretty much like they're a team. I like that a lot. Okay, well let's do a little bit more work on Project X. Since you're probably wondering what the heck's going on over here. Okay, let's just three speed for a second. Let the uh, water finish itself out. Please and thank you. That's probably good enough. Okay, so now I'm um, gonna grab ourselves a canal. And okay, gotta make sure we're not too steep. Good. And then I want this one to just gently come on out. Okay, so this is where the terrain is that's going to be a little bit challenging. So may have to terraform a bit more, but slow and steady. Slow and steady will win this race. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay, hold on here. Hold the phone. Yeah, there it is just a matter of getting that angle right. Okay, so we will, oh my god, have to terraform that. Oh, you know what, I think the whole operation actually should be brought down a little bit. Probably should look at that head-on before uh, diving in here. No, uh, no water jokes intended. 
Yeah, let's maybe um, lower this here by uh, by about half. Yeah, grab the middle there. There we go. So, same rules apply. We're going to let the water settle. Move this out a bit. We terraform to get our angles just right. But this just adds more to the uh, the mystery, doesn't it? Whatever could it be? I mean, some of you might start to piece it together earlier than others, but by the end of the episode, I'll, I'll either tell you or you'll, you'll know. This is, kind of, this is kind of a fun little different thing, I think, right? Just uh, keeping you on the edge of your seat. Okay, the key is having a nice long straightaway in there. Yeah, I think that's so much better. Yeah, visually much better. Now, this is a bit of a steep um, hill here to climb, so the water might not get as deep into the uh, canals we like, but we can actually use something from the Natural Disasters DLC to ensure that that always stays full. So we can do a freshwater outflow. We'll do that times two. And we're actually going to connect this one to its own water tower. Let's connect that up. Connect that up. Excellent. So this is actually not too bad. I was worried that the water level wouldn't really work here. All right, so we do need now an industrial road. And in case you think you already got it and you're like typing it out, be like, oh, Imperial, I'm sure it's this. I don't know, it might be a little bit more complicated than just, than just that, whatever that is. Okay, so let's do 300 for our bridge. This just goes down. And this is where the terraforming is going to have to come back into play. Okay. So I'll drop down a few assets. And some of this will be visual, some of it will be functional. And some of it will just be like completely unnecessary, but it's kind of for fun, you know? This is one of those moments right now. So we're gonna throw in just a little side road for this. And then again, from the Natural Disasters DLC, it's kind of a cool little asset to use here. In the event of a tsunami, what will happen is um, these things will take over in case you lose the ability to pump water. And then speaking of pumping water, we'll put a water pump here. It will be functional, but also just kind of for visual fun. And then this one connects to the reservoir, and then connects to the city. And then I do want, just for also visual and for the fact that it will work, some inland water treatments. And we got very, very lucky. I kind of just eyeballed the size of that when I was doing it. And that was, ooh, that was nice right there. Okay, so we're kind of hopefully banking on the sand to go away. If not, we can make it work. But what could this be so far, I wonder? Yeah, you can kind of see with the, uh, the water pump, that might be too too much action. Let the water settle. We can see why we put the water, the freshwater pipes, right, to kind of make up. Oh, you know what? Those are have no power, so of course they're not going to work. Well, then why is the water pump working? Okay, so just for some green vibes, throw some of these in here. just to power this all up and then we'll run a big power line across here and I'm gonna help get it in, in line so I'll make that nice and flush there we go okay now let's do a little bit of road work on the other side here So like I said, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the sand will go away, but just in case it doesn't, we'll kind of build the road around that network. Grab one of these. Straighten that out. Cool. What could you be? Who are you and what do you do? Like I said, you might have an idea, but it's probably a little bit more complicated than what you're thinking. So we'll come back. Come back to that in a second, won't we? Okay, so this is good. Cargo is good. Uh, Ring Road Highway is almost done. Let's get a little bit more of this stuff connected here. And this can be, I think, kind of a fun um, connection. So 
I'm gonna come in on the angle like that. And then I want, yeah, we'll use, because we're on the outskirts, we'll use this road here. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to get proper usage out of it, but really cool to see cars turn into their respective lane and then hopefully merge over. Oh, you know, we probably don't... Hmm, no, we don't even need that one because they're going to be turning from that way. So asymmetrical from here, we flip the direction. Right, okay. And then hopefully here is where they turn right. Okay. Very simple, but very functional. And then now, just getting started with the um, the oil. Okay, do we have enough water and sewage now? We do, that's fantastic. Um, just kind of a food for thought thing to think about here. So this water tower, it is functional, but it's not actually supplying water to the whole city. So it will show in here as the available water, but because we're not taking advantage of it, we might have homes down the road that say they're not getting water. So sometimes this is not an accurate indicator. All right, so as far as our industrial oil field and rail yard, where would that be? So let's kind of follow the outskirts on a road coming in. And let's make our connection off this street right here. This is how you get into the oil field, perfect. And then I think this will have a, um, a dirt road component as we kind of transition a bit. And it'd be really nice to have a backup way in uh, from this road here, too. And this one, I think, is going to just kind of, yeah, link up with that effectively. That actually might be the way to do it right there. Okay, so I see us making, like, a little spot here where we can do some um, utilities, a little bit of a work zone. And kind of justify the extra paving here. Okay, so let's put down the main gate for our industry and see how big we, of an area we need. Yeah, so we're not going to use all this, it's massive. Alright, so let's see here. Oil. And some of the oil factory buildings are awesome. So we'll put the um, petroleum um, refinery, I guess? over here too, it'll look really fantastic. Okay, there we are, up and running, we got an oil field. Cool, very simple. Done, right? No, not even close. Um, we do wanna maybe put in a little bit of the framework for the rails, and then probably switch back over to doing the rest of Project X over here. So let's see here, rails. And then yeah, the talk of the town was to do a, uh, a rail yard. And that would mean that we would want to have, and this is going to be in the oil industry specifically, so why don't we move this actually out of the way, even though we just made it. And uh, the oil field can probably, the oil field, the train, train yard can be right in this spot, right in here. And then this gives us the chance, if we really like it, we can actually build another one over here. So this is kind of like a test. And so I think we'd have one of these guys to kind of go along with our, uh, our main building. So you drive in, we got a little bit of space here for some warehouses. We can put down a um, little commercial building, an office tower or two. Mm -hmm. Drink some coffee here. And then yeah, uh, do the rail yard. So we want that to be flat. That we've learned with tracks is definitely the easiest way to do it. And then possibly another bridge or tunnel for the rail. So, so get a few tracks going with it. And the key is this one's going to be the driving track. So we'll have one more on the outside. And then I do want one more, things get crazy, right? One more station. So yeah, we probably will have to add another, another loop over to here. Oh man, it's gonna be so crazy. We'll do the small part of it first because this is gonna get so out of hand. And yeah, we do need a crossing. So open this up, come in like such. And then this is gonna be the one way. So 
So what we're going to basically do when we build our second rail yard is we're going to tell the trains that are coming from the region that if they want to get to the rail yard, they're going to have to go this way. So this is where things get pretty bonkers. And the second rail yard is probably going to be, you know, maybe in this pocket. So they're going to have to like turn in here, drive through here, maybe have a complicated bridge or something. But we're going to make this, yeah, this is going to be really awesome. And the good news about splitting this over two episodes is if we get way out of hand, we can kind of scale it back when I uh, have a good night's rest and look at this the next day and be like, oh my god, what have you started? Beauty. Okay, so this is where things get kind of crazy again. So we're going to have the one-way rail link up, yeah just with that part. And this can maybe be redone. Accountant. The law accounting. Oh. I know what you're thinking. Okay. This actually might just become a dead track, yeah. I'll put one more over. And then we'll find a fun way to reconnect these all up here. And if ever you need like inspiration for this kind of stuff, definitely like Google Maps, you know? Depends on where you live, you might have different styles of rail yard, different widths. Depends on the urban center, you know, there might be some uh, some remnants of an old one, you know? Oh, goodness gracious me, what have we done here? Okay, so I want some... Um... Oh boy, let's do this part first. See, this what happens when you make them too ambitious, you know? Okay, so come out straight. That's going inbound, and then we link up with this one here. And then what's going to end up happening is we'll have trains that want to stop at that closer um, cargo rail and they'll split right around here and start doing that. And then ones that want to make their way into the small town will have to take the kind of the complicated way. And so I basically need these two um, to link up. You can kind of see how we end up with a dead track. I might just leave that and not stress too, too much, you know? Because the key is the trains won't drive anywhere but the one-way roads. Or one-way rails, sorry. And then, so yeah, this leaves. This becomes a bridge. That goes downhill a little bit. It's again the right kind of complicated, isn't it? Okay. And my god, no. Okay, back it up. We're gonna keep a close eye on time here. Definitely won't be able to finish the rail yard, but you can kind of see what we're up to. And uh, we'll just very quickly get back to uh, Project X in a second. And I did say within the episode, you will have an idea, if not a complete idea, of what it will be. And by the end of it, I guarantee you're going to want to try it in your own city for sure. Yeah, we need that to be a little bit lower. And I'm not quite sure why, but our budget just suddenly started to sneak into the negatives here. Okay, so just now a matter of getting the rails back into uh, the main line. And then that would be so cool if we can get a little slip through here. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we have to have the way uh, back over this way. And then this will also be how you get to the um, uh, the small town. We could maybe do like tunnels and stuff. Okay, so we'll leave that a little bit for later. And then we'll go back to Project X. There we go. 
That's where final insurance comes in. We provide peace of mind for when you rest in peace. And this should be, yeah, perfect. A double slip as well. Oh, that's so fantastic. Okay, so that's a little bit of a functional rail yard. Might not believe it yet, but if we play our cards right, we'll see trains come on through here, take a bit of a complicated route. If we get some industry and some oil along with it, it should be pretty convincing, especially if we put some um, uh, logistical stuff on that side. Okay, so everything's on hold, time out, we're running out of time here, we have to get to Project X, and whatever could it be? Okay, so let's do more of this side to add to the intrigue. Oh, I want um, road here. So we'll slalom through the hill. And I don't know, I mean, it might be crazy talk, but I think I might do some lights here. Alright, so get your way through, get your way down. A little bit of a steepness issue through here, so why don't we make this bit a, uh, a tunnel, if we can. Great. And as an added bonus, I absolutely love the way the industrial tunnels look. So sharp. That's going to be fixed with a little bit of uh, heights. And we probably just redo the whole thing in. Who are we kidding here? It looks terrible. So <laughs> try that again, shall we? Kind of a true slalom happening through here. Shame we can't. Like, I'm sure we can actually make that work. Yeah, I'm sure there's a way to make these two work here. So I make that just come outward and up. And then I guarantee if we make that elevated on that part, like stay at um, just one, yeah, like that, it'll be so much smoother. Yeah. And then added bonus, some ground level through here for some variety. Cool. That's so much better than I wanted. Yes. Okay, so we've got the way in. Effectively a little checkpoint through here. Checkpoint meets back up. So you can loop back around. Guarding our checkpoints with turnaround options will be the police. Spot for some medical. Very important to have fire over here. Okay, just give these guys some water, get some utilities. And then this will go right, oh, apparently not over, never mind. Okay, maybe not, maybe go around. And we'll bring this into the city. Cool. And I think we're going to take this route into here and then over. Oh, thank you. Don't need that now, though. Okay. Now, just a few more pieces in here, and then some of this will be kind of like not appropriate sort of for the area, but we're going to use make-believe to be like, oh, of course, it looks like it could belong there. But we do need like realistically some garbage pickup, so you'll kind of see what I'm about to do. Again, following what kind of is the contour line with the hill here. Get a little bit cleaner with that. Oops. It's okay if we lose that power line. And then over here will just be a simple turnaround point. Yeah, it's that little bit of the terrain there is being uncooperative. I want to get rid of that. Okay. 
clean, cool looking. And then yeah, the two big buildings that are actually gonna be sitting through here. One of them is going to be this guy, which is a garbage. And, oh, doesn't quite fit. Again, I was kind of eyeballing this when I was doing it, so that one doesn't quite, quite fit. So what I'm actually gonna do is just move that road ever so slightly up. Which I think will be a lot easier than trying to uh, re-terraform that, uh, that canal, you know? Okay, that can be maybe redone a bit. Do that for our turnaround point. And it wasn't like a lot more room we needed, just a, just a hint, you know? And don't worry, we're keeping an eye on time, don't worry. Time, the ever valuable thing. So precious. There she is. Ooh, wow, that was a nice little bit of a curvy through there, wasn't it? Okay, that's nice. And then that goes in, nice. And then now we should be able to put these big buildings in, yeah, cool. So I like this because it has the right kind of look and it makes it seem like it's part of the uh, the complex. And then just over here, you know what, I'm going to move the power line again. So that goes through. You know what, this would be so much nicer if it wasn't all a uh, weird hill like that. Beauty. I feel like that can probably be cleaner too. Okay, now the Pièce de Résistance. What is this area supposed to be, you wonder? This entire time, you think is it utilities? Is it for, um, you know, like waterworks? Like, what is it? It actually is a nuclear power plant. Project X is for nuclear power generation. Where are you? Right over here. There you are. So there we go. And we'll throw in a couple of these guys too, because they make it seem like they're part of the uh, the team, you know? So definitely some more detailing is going to be uh, in order here. But check that out, man. That's not too bad at all. So we got to fill in the spots. We're just kind of out of time right now. And uh, we might rethink possibly the water. Might move that a little bit further down, right? But there you go, that's so cool. It's a very your own, very your own little uh, three mile island here. Not really on an island. And uh, the kind of the thought process, right? Is um, all of it's really for visual, right? But we're using some stuff to show that we've got some water, we've got some turnover, we've got some uh, cleaning of the water. But nuclear power plants are like just exceptionally safe if you keep them cold, happy and healthy, right? The second they get too hot, they go kaboomski. So you want to be like close to a body of water, so you can always be um, you know cycling through and keeping it nice and cool. So there you go. I like that a lot. So let's explore what we made. We're getting a little bit of function through here, which is great. Um, we should get some uh, uh, fuel pickup, garbage pickup for the small town in this part of the city too, which is awesome. You can see some trains definitely coming through here. This is going to be such an awesome piece. I might maybe change a little smidgen of it, right? But this is kind of the principal idea. We're using one-way rails. They're going to come on through. We're forcing the train to have to get, the, um, you know, to the station the way we want them to. And we're going to have another complicated, crazy way through with the rails and um, probably breakaway over there too. So just double looping yards. And that's that. So, um, yeah, I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more done. Um, probably have to dedicate the whole episode next time to getting the uh, oil field up. And then that might maybe mean the one after that will be for forestry and whatnot. But, you know, in the grand scheme, we're getting there slowly but surely and then you know when we zoom on out you can kind of see i feel like this all just kind of makes sense now i think like it's kind of a hard transition to go from like city to outskirts you want some of this kind of stuff especially if we can sneak over and get a farm field eventually anyway this looks like it's been here since the entire map started which is great that little cut in there with the hill with the road and stuff so it, amazing perfect i love it love the canal looks great security checkpoint to you only one way in unless you want to parachute from the hill I doubt it. And then yeah, the sky's the limit. We can put some more stuff over here. If you have any suggestions too, feel free. We'll sneak a peek at our asset um, list and see what we can do. Otherwise, that's it guys. Thank you very much for 30 episodes. This is crazy. Hopefully 30 more. And then 30 after that. And then, I don't know, 30 after that. No, it's getting a little far. We'll see. 
But I see this series probably going into the about, I want to say 85 to 100 episode range. I know that's like extremely ambitious, right? But look what we've done. We've done a, a fair amount, but I think that city is a third of the way done. And we're 30 episodes in, so by that logic, we need to do at least three times more. So that's around 90 episodes. You know, we can get there. All right, guys, let me know what you're thinking. How you doing today? How's, uh, just how you doing? Yeah, it's been a while since we talked. So you let me know. I look forward to your comments, as always. You guys are a fantastic bunch to hang out with. And uh, we'll see you again. More games, more episodes. You take care of yourselves. Happy building. All the best. Mm -hmm.